queens welcome to my channel where the vibes is good and the makeup is better i go by celestina your favorite ab queen and <laughs> this video is a 420 inspired makeup look baby 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 it's just it's, it's giving me all the vibes it's giving me the indica sativa the hybrid the hemp the, the ganja is giving me all the types of vibes like <laughs> Happy 420. If you're watching this video, make sure you spark one. Okay? Spark one before you watch this video. Okay, spark one after. You know what? It's a 420, it's a 420 celebration. And baby girl, that's just that on that. So I hope you guys enjoy what look I came up with for this 420 look. And yeah. <laughs> I hope y'all get y'all a doobie and enjoy the movie. Okay? I'll see you in my next one. Mwah. Hey guys. So first y'all know I'm going to start with my eyebrows. And I'm just going to do them um, with the NYX Cosmetics Tame and Frame Eyebrow Pomade in the shade Espresso. I'm going to outline the bottom and the top of my brows and then fill them in with a angled brush. And this brush is from forever magic cosmetics i do have a code it'll be in the description bar below baby <laughs> brows are so tricky like it's crazy but once you find your shape it's so like easy to do them at first it's hard but once you study your shape and get it down to a science oh baby <laughs> your brows will come out fleeky every time Next, I'm going to be going in with my Fenty Beauty Concealer in the shade 100, and I'm going to conceal my brows. I kind of sped it up a little bit because y'all always see me do my brows. <laughs> um, and this look is more so focused on eyeshadow, baby. Okay, 420 vibes. So, you know, I'm going to do that. Okay, make sure you blend it out, buff it out, and blend the front so you don't have that harsh box look. Baby girl, <laughs> we got palettes on deck, okay? Taking my P. Louise base in the shade Zero. I'm gonna be putting that down as an eyeshadow base, of course. Honey, look, I got so many palettes, I didn't know which one I wanted to choose from today, but we're gonna start with the crayon case, okay? And I'm gonna be taking that base and just putting it down, make sure it's flat, no creases, and this is gonna prep our eyeshadow. Now I'm taking that green shade from the box of crayons palette, and I'm going to be putting that down first. For the first shade, what you want to do is just take a brush and pack it down. Um, you can pack it, I would just say pack it across the lid, not in the crease or um, transition shade or anything like that. Just pack it down all over the lid and we're gonna get ready to you know work some magic and blend some shadows into that bad boy so after you pack it down just take your brush and lightly buff the top so it can be seamless and you can get ready for the next eyeshadow <laughs> so now i'm going to be taking that morphe picasso palette i'm going to take that light green shade and i'm going to be packing that down right above that dark shade y'all i'm getting so tongue twisted with these different greens <laughs> y'all gotta bear with me okay the key is to pack on the eyeshadow first and then blend it out because it helps the pigment pick up on the eyeshadow and it's bomb so <laughs> that method is the best Taking this light green shade from that box of crayons palette again, I'm going to be blending that up where my brow bone is. So this is considered my transition shade.
taking that Morphe palette again, I'm going in with that dark green and we're going to be putting this into the crease to deepen up this look. This is what makes the look come alive. Okay, honey, look alive. Oh, like it just, it, it really popped the look. So, um, I'm kind of doing the inversion method of eyeshadow, but I did my crease color first instead of my transition colors. So, yeah. There's so many methods to doing eyeshadow. I gotta actually like make some videos on it, like separate videos, but yeah. <laughs> I'm taking the same Pee Wee Wee's base and I'm just gonna be cutting my crease with my Wet n Wild flat brush. going back in with that first green we used for this look and I'm going to be buffing out the outer edges of that crease so it can be seamless. Then I'm going to go back in with that second green eyeshadow that we used and I'm going to put that down right beside that shade we just blended out and then after this I'm gonna take that lime green shade the third <laughs> green that we use and I'm gonna put that in the inner corner now remember when you're doing this you have to blend and make those eyeshadows do a spaghetti junction you gotta make them <laughs> sandwiched together okay so make sure you're blending each shadow as you go going in with my eyeliner i'm going to be drawing not a wing but kind of like a a half moon wing if that makes any sense um i don't know the right term for this because uh, yeah but um, I'm going to be taking that liner and I'm going to make it a thick wing and we're going to take it to the middle of the eye um, and then we're going to go back in with that dark green eyeshadow and we're going to blend the outer edges of the eyeliner so it can blend it into the eyeshadow. Don't let it confuse you, okay? <laughs> Don't let it confuse you. After we are done with that, I'm going to take some mascara. Honey, you can use any type of mascara, girl. I think this is the Maybelline one, though. And I'm going to coat my lashes. Alrighty, so now I'm going to be going in with my Duo Lash Glue. This is the brush on kind. And I'm going to be putting that on the outer edges of the where I cut the crease to apply my glitter. So I'm gonna put the glue down first, brush it on, as you can see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I'm gonna take my glitter and I'm gonna pack it on right there on the outer edges. Now I'm about to get cute. Finna throw on my minks. <laughs> but before I do that, I'm gonna take my new cream. I'm going to moisturize my face. I 
and I also used the dual lash glue to put on my lashes and these lashes are from Aliexpress I will link them in the description box below so now I'm going in with my ordinary moisturizer this stuff works wonders honey I, this is my favorite like I've been using this for quite a while and it was a new product, but this, it just makes my skin feel so velvety. Mm. Ooh, baby girl, I love it. So I'm gonna take my Fenty Beauty Foundation, Hydrating Foundation in the shade 100. I'm going to be dotting my face with it and I'm going to be blending it in with a beauty blender, a damp one at that. going in with that Fenty Beauty concealer again I'm going to be putting concealer on my highlighted areas which is the under eyes the nose the cupid's bow chin and forehead Going in with my Fenty Beauty Contour Matchstick in the shade Truffle. I'm going to be sculpting my face. I'm gonna put this right on my cheeks, um, the cheekbones, and down the bridge of my nose, under my chin, and the sides of my forehead. If your contour is too harsh, you can always go back in with your beauty blender and blend it out. You know, it just works wonders. Makeup is all about blending. Don't matter. It don't matter how you apply, how it go on. As long as the finished product is blended seriously, then baby girl, you doing it right, okay? Honey, let's snatch the nose. When I say I snatched my nose. It, it, it was snatched, baby. Do you see the precision? <laughs> oh, yes, ma'am. Taking my Aerosmith powder. This is a translucent one, baby. And I'm going to be setting my face with my little sponge, my little wedge, whichever one you want to call it. You can get that at like Family Dollar for a dollar, baby. <laughs> Shoot, you can probably get that one more for good, like what? 89 cent a pack? Like, who knows? Um, I'm taking one of them little wedges and we're just going to be setting the face. It really helps to get up under the eyes and in the creases and crevices, baby. So I recommend a little angled sponge rather than a brush. Just my opinion. <laughs> my opinion. Going back in with my Fenty Beauty bronzer in the shade private island i'm going to be setting my contour areas okay bronzing it up bringing color back to the face okay period Right here, I'm just gonna be cutting my contour, taking the same translucent powder, and yeah, honey, we're gonna straighten it up, sharpen it up, okay? I'm 
going in with my NYX white eyeshadow base. I'm going to be putting it down in my waterline and then I'm going to take my Kika Milano um, nude eyeshadow and I'm just going to be setting that base so it doesn't run or anything, you know. Going in with that same green eyeshadow, I think it's the second one we use. I'm going to be pegging that down as my bottom eyeshadow. And I'm just going to buff it on out. Going in with my Black Radiance Beauty blush in the shade Toasted Almond. I'm going to be putting that on the apples of my cheeks. Going in with the liquid lipstick, this is from Lorella Cosmetics in the shade Ari. I'm going to be putting that down all over my lips. Taking that P. Louise base again, I'm just going to be putting a little bit on a brush and I'm going to be dabbing it right in the center of my lips to, you know, create an ombre effect. It really did the job. Like, it was, it was bomb. Definitely a hack. Going in with the lip gloss that I got from the beauty spa store. Actually, this lip gloss was the cherry on top for this look because it's just the way it glistens on the lips, the little reflectance of the yellow. It was just popping. Now I'm going to be setting my face with some setting spray. And after I drench my face, I'm just going to be going in with my Makeup Revolution HD highlighter palette kit and I'm going to be taking the shade Mint Kiss and just highlighting my face. Yes darling, look at that beam, okay? Look at that shine, look at the sheen, look at the highlights. Look, oh honey, mm. it looks really good. Mm. Just look at me, the light bulb. Mm. <laughs> okay, and I'm going to be putting that shade in my inner corner as well to top off the eyeshadow look and after this that will be the completed look i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to like comment subscribe and share with your friends i will see you guys in my next one Mwah. I hope you're on cloud nine and I hope you enjoyed this video. Huh. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you comment down below and share this video baby girl because look, <laughs> we need the queen to grow always. So yeah, I appreciate y'all for watching and I will definitely see you in my next one.